what happened at the 76th edition of the Monster Energy FIM Motocross of Nations at Ernay in France. Race one was MXGP and MX2 riders. Jorge Prado with a Fox hole shot. He was closely followed and flew the first couple of corners by Jeremy Seaver, Roman Fevre, and Aaron Blessinger and Tom Vial. Jet Lawrence just fell though. After a good start, he would eventually come home in sixth place. A heroic ride through the field. Fevre there in second place, though, got the better of Siwa and then eventually found his way past Prado to take over the lead. That was on lap six. He would lose it again ten laps later, but Fevre would take the lead with two laps to go. Ken Roxon got the better of Jeremy Siwa to move into third for Germany. Then he stalled a couple of laps later, would have to do it all again. On the ride through, he latched on to the number one of Aaron Plessinger. Found his way past. Just a better line through the rhythm section. Kenny was then back into third. Roman Fevre victorious in race one for France. A perfect start. Prado second, Roxon third, Siwa and Plessinger in top five. Lawrence for sixth. In race two, the MX2 and Open Class riders, a good start for Valentin Kio, but just behind him, Ruben Fernandez just tagged the wheel of a rider alongside him. That caused all kinds of problems. But coming out of the first couple of corners and around the outside, down that first home straight, Fernandez into the lead with a move on Kio. Liam Everts for Belgium on the 15, just parked. The number five of Tom Vial as Hunter Lawrence went down. He eventually came home in fifth place ahead of Valentin Vio. Top of his screen, Tom Vial around the outside of Liam Everts. The fans love that. And meanwhile, Maxim Renault finally on lap 10 of 17 jumped past Ruben Fernandez to take over the lead. A couple of corners later, Fernandez crashed out of second, handing second place to Tom Vial. Liam Evans was third, Andrea Domo fourth, Hunter Lawrence fifth, but by the end of the race, a French 1-2, Maxime Renault from Tom Vial. France were in pole position heading into the final race. In front of a record 102,000 fans through the gates over the course of the weekend, all eyes on Team France, who had a massive lead. Only a catastrophe would stop them from taking the Peter Chamberlain trophy. Race three, MXGP and Open, it was a foxhole shot for Kenny Roxon this time around. Jet Lawrence in third, but eventually, he got the better of Maxim Renault, who had gated in second position. He just needed to bring it home. Lawrence moved into second place. Tim Geiser got the better of Spain's Ruben Fernandez. That was on lap three, and that pass was for fifth place. And then, Fernandez crashed out hard, and that cost Spain a possible podium third overall, a first for Spain it would have been as well. Lap seven, a change for the lead. Lawrence jumping past Ken Roxon. And eventually, after several laps of trying, Roman Fevre jumped past Alberto Ferrato and into seven. That's where he would finish. Jet Lawrence cruised to victory for Australia. Ken Roxon crossed the line second. Maxim Renault crossed the line third. And that was enough for France to be crowned world champions and the winners of the Peter Chamberlain Trophy for the seventh time in history. France then, the overall winners from Australia and Italy. A best ever performance for Australia, second overall, and their third podium in this event. Italy, their ninth podium, and the first podium for all three riders. But Roman Fevre, four wins now for him, a first victory for his two teammates, Maxim Renault and Tom Vial. But what a day, and what a great advert for motocross all around the world. The class winners, by the way, Ken Broxon in MXGP, Tom Vial in MX2, Maxim Renault in the Open Class. We won, uh, each one of us won a, uh, a moto uh, like in class, so uh, yeah, what else? We win uh, like with points, uh, we had a big gap, uh, it was so good to ride with the fans and everything. Uh, incredible weekend of, uh, of motocross, we are really happy.
Thanks to all of three, uh, we are a team and uh, we won in France, it's uh, unbelievable.